Hey everybody, Xenogeno Matt coming at you with a late night short me playing WarioWare Mega Party Games for the Nintendo GameCube. And this game was, I believe, originally Mega Micro Games released on the Game Boy Advance. And so, starting out, I'll just do some stage clear. So basically the goal of this game is you've got four lives and you've got a whole bunch of micro games to complete using the control stick or d-pad as well as uh, A and B. So just imagine that you had a uh, Game Boy Advance and just kind of do as the game says. Now this game and I go way, way back. We're talking... 80% of my life, probably. More than that, I don't know. So I know every single micro game, like the back of my hand. I've actually looked into, like, speedruns of this game in terms of, like, what world records are available. And I think eventually, if I, um, there's a whole lot of different modes you can unlock, and one of them is called Master Mode, and that's the one that I've been looking at in terms of going for a world record. So if I decide to do that, then I'll I'll probably attempt attempt a world record. That would be nuts if I got that. So yeah, it's hard to commentate over every single game considering they go by in split seconds. So in this one. Just gotta press A, and the ball comes back to Wario. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> Had to do that once, just to get it out of the way. Oh yes! Nothing can stop Wario. I love these, and then you can press the A button during these little intermissions and react and interact with stuff. Now for everybody's favorite Nintendo character, Jimmy T. Here we go, this guy's an absolute legend. He is... I remember I made a, um... In the newest Animal Crossing, I made my... What's it called? You got your Nook phone? I made my, uh, phone case in that. One of my custom designs of Jimmy T. Because, I mean, look at that face. This dude is legendary. So, anyway. Uh, Wario at the beginning was... This was, like, beginner missions. Jimmy T is, uh, focused around sports. Each one of these... have their own theme. Also, when you complete uh, a character's... like, micro-games... You unlock, you get another life back. So I had three, now I have four. Of course, as you continue clearing them, it'll get faster and faster. Now that's the only game that I can't consistently beat. That jump one is pretty janky for some reason. Ball them. This one's weird. You move the trampoline instead. Bit sneaky. So this was actually the game that I used to first test all of my recording software. Because I don't have any sort of splitter. So I'm just playing the game directly on my laptop. I mean, it's not an emulator, but it's... I get the feed from my GameCube. So I got the, uh, the component cables from the GameCube plugged in into a component to HDMI converter. And then I'm running that through to my Mac. So yeah. So I wanted to find, I remember in the beginning I tried using like a different software, but the latency was so high that I couldn't even play any of these games. But now... And react in pretty much real time. It's great. 
Gotta love tennis. Nah, I haven't been bowling in so long. Alrighty. Jimmy T's boss stage. I forgot you had a dodge. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Chill, baby. Aw, oh, man. Bye, Jimmy. Now you got sci fi with dribble and spits. Narrowly avoided that one. Hit Mars. There it is. Now these guys are cool. I always remember the... Oh, oh. That was weird. My eyes went kind of weird for that one. Or maybe it was the rate at which I'm capturing it. I don't know. I think my favorite in the sci-fi set is like the hyper-realistic Mario. You'll see what I mean in just a second. Although this glass is pretty great too. This game's got the most random stuff, but I love it. Maybe that's where, maybe that's why I love it. Oh, hyper-realistic Mario. You teabag on him a bit. Really show Bowser what you're made of. Oh, there's three. This whole thing is full of a whole bunch of sets of three, so like there's three of the uh, motorcycle ones, there's three of the ninja dude, oh, there's a motorcycle one, and then there's three of the hyper-realistic Mario. I never understood that game. The, uh, the blue waves you can touch without getting hurt, and then the red wave of fire is the only one that hurts. I used to always have trouble with the wheelie one when I was a kid. Same thing with the curling one from, uh, last one. Oh, there's the one from, uh, Smash Bros. you might recognize. I do love the WarioWare stage. I think the micro games are a nice... ...chaos. I remember when you, if you fail that one, I think a panda drops on him. It's great. The animations in this game are... Simplistic yet very effective. I don't know. It might just be nostalgia. Oh, oh, flip him! Oh my gosh! It might just be nostalgia, but there's always a charm to these. Oh, you got me. Beam. Vaporized poor Bowser there. <laughs> Never stood a chance. So last time we had punch out, this time we've got like a I wanna say Galaga, but I'm not even sure it's Is it Galaga? That I'm thinking of? I'm not sure of the game. So getting these little bonus things will give me more of a more like areas to shoot from. And then one on top of that will give me a shield. The goal is to hit it into the, there we go, into the vortex there. Didn't get the bonus there. Ooh. Attack the ball. Some ball and hoop. And the ball comes out and you can really wail on it. Like, who comes up with this? And why? You know, there's so many questions and, like, no answers. And that's... I think that's the, uh... That's the lore. Or, like, the appeal. A lore, appeal, appeal. All the above of WarioWare. 
off duty time. Alrighty, I'll do one more strange with Mona and then I'll probably cut it off here. Mona's got some great micro games twirling the spaghetti. I love how like quietly intense that one is. Like I said, very effective. Miss Fireworks. Didn't have any this year. Shame. I actually always hoped that, like, my toaster would do that. Oh my gosh, this reminds me. I've just started playing uh, American Truck Simulator, so uh, parking that car was no problem compared to a park to parking a truck with two trailers on it. Classy. Oh, now she's involved in one of the greatest multiplayer micro games. This is actually a game that I want to get other people over to like play local multiplayer on. As like literally everyone who's come over has played this game with me at one point or another. It's how like I believe this game is like seriously, very, very seriously slept on. This has got some of the best multiplayer I've ever played in a on a like a local Nintendo game. Oh boy. It's another multiplayer game. It's a whole paper playing race. Really fun. On the boss stage, Home Depot, the final frontier. Uh oh. There we go. Alright, we fixed the nail and we messed it up again. And we've only gone and done it. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, I gotta pick it. Hit it a split second before I would hit it. Got it. Ah. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I messed that up. Alright. I won't blame the delay input. Or input delay. Jeez, I can't even speak correctly. So I do know how to correct for it. I probably should have adapted. Still want my fireworks. Most intense micro game of all. Threading the needle. Maybe sometime I'll play American Truck Sim on. Make a video out of it. Cause it is fun. It's just like mindless trucking. And sometimes that's just what you need after a long day of work. 
Just kind of sit back, put on your trucker hat, and drive across the state of Arizona. There's the train one. I know that one's coming up where you gotta stop the train at the station. I always manage to hit it right in between the two nostrils. Got lucky this time around. There's the train. You never know how how much that rock is gonna bounce. Sometimes it bounces very little, sometimes it goes crazy far. Alright, here we are back at Home Depot, the boss stage. Hopefully I won't hurt the lad or break his nail. Nope. There we go. I did hit him. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I've really done so poorly on a boss stage. Like, what is that? There we go. I don't even have to fix it. I guess I was trying to go out of my way to fix it, too. Gotta take a little break. Yeah, I feel that, Mona. Alrighty, so starting on next time, we'll be take tackling Nintendo with 9V. Alright, see you guys then.